uh, well, we're seeing a lot of the wildlife. We're nearly stepping on frogs, and we're seeing a bird right here diving uh, on the water. It is it's fishing. Uh, what else is going on? We just cleaned some ticks off our clothes. Ticks are out. Be careful. It was, it, was it a green one or a brown one? It was a brown one. It was a, it was a bigger one. Okay. Well, so. the green ones are the worst. Okay, well, they're whatever. The, it was the still ones that carry Lyme disease. Still something to... Now, you know, I've been vaccinated for one of the three main diseases that ticks carry. Which one? Uh, I forget what it is. I have to look at my vaccination card. It's a European vaccination. It's not recognized here in oh, the States. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so I went through. That was a three-dose vaccination. So this yeah. whole double-dose thing is... Second, second nature to me. I had to take the first dose and the second dose was six months later. So I actually had to plan a trip that was six months later. And then I think it was a year after that. So like I had to, uh -huh. I had to keep doing it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I sent the name to the, to our doctor who he, and he had never heard of it. So he looked it up and he's like, well, all right, well, whatever. It doesn't look like it'll harm you. I'm like, well, there's definitely a lot of ticks in Europe, and this is like the primary thing they carry. So since I'm there, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. He was salty that he couldn't give it to you. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that will, that particular strain is uh, really yeah. around the states. I'm stopping here because across this marsh is uh, you can see a car driving a little bit. That's actually where our car is, and uh, we're coming up again to the Kankakee. So we. We're three quarters of the way. Probably more than that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're three legs of the, three and a half legs of the rectangle. Mm -hmm. And uh, this particular piece of walk was almost unapproachable back in this side, yet we kept seeing handicap parking, brand new handicap parking signs. We saw three or four of them. Yeah, they just didn't make sense. <laughs> we can't get a car on. I mean, it looks like you can, but back where we were, you really couldn't. You could not, no. So I'm not sure what's Why going are on. They there? Yeah. This is a pretty cool cross view, though. Now, what do we learn about this pole with the, with the rack up top? Uh, it's where that one type of bird. Osprey. Osprey. Your backpack. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah it's where ospreys um, nest. Yeah, yeah, that's what we learned. Where were we uh, when we learned that? That was a big marsh. I can't remember right now. I'm drawing a blank as well. We learned a lot about Birds, but we uh, in Austria we learned a lot about uh, glaciers. I thought that as well. Maybe I'm wrong. It feels like one of those glacier hikes, glacial hikes, but I'll have to look in the book. Can't remember. But we just walked around. It was like a five-mile hike around a lake. Yeah, but it was neat. It was very cool. Oh, we oh. saw turtles too. Yep, turtles. And we also kind of came to the conclusion that this was somewhat similar to Medawin, right? Yes. That we did um, a year ago. When you're walking not along the river, when you're walking on the other side of the rectangle loop, rectangle loop, <laughs> uh, it's, it's just, um, it's not shaded, so. Like where we are right now. Yeah, pretty, pretty much just uh, one long stretch. So the feeling wasn't that it's prairie like Medawin, it was the hike is similar to Medawin in the sense that if you're there on a hot day, don't be there on a hot day. Yeah, <laughs> I got very ill after that one. A little bit of sunstroke, heat stroke. That was really early on too, so if you remember you were not drinking a lot of water, and instead of resting in shade to cool down, I was panicking. You were panicking and racing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good wow. times, good times. Good. Well, what a great learning. I mean, you would never do that now. Totally different. Well, look at this. 360 right here. Best 360 of the hike. Yeah. What do you have for miles and time right now? I got a, uh, an hour and 40 minutes with four miles and 0.4, 4.4 miles. All right, so I'm gonna guess that we have about a mile, a little, maybe a little more than a mile left. Maybe a little less. The car didn't look that far. Okay. Well, let's call it a mile. Yep. So, what is that, five and a half? Yep. And uh, just over two hours, or two hours even. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, you have those sandwiches with you. I do. Are we going to eat them here or are we going to wait until we're back at the car? I think we go back to the car. Okay. What's our sandwich? Ow, ow, I'm getting bit by a uh, fly. What's our sandwich? Sandwich is pistachio butter, which is so good. And agave. Yes. On homemade bread. Pistachio butter and agave. That is a heck of a PB and J. Really, really good. So tasty. And that is the last of our pistachio butter for now. But we'll get another jar. Yes, we will. Might just get a jar to, to eat straight from. That's actually a pretty good snack. I would tend to agree with you. A little wheat thin action or a chip on some sort of chip. Well, oh, or toast. Or toast. How many pieces of toast do you have yesterday for dinner? Four. <laughs> with hash browns, french fries. I had, I had a carb fest last <laughs> night for dinner. I ordered the french fries, the hash browns. I ordered baked. four pieces of toast and baked potato. And a baked potato. I carved out. And she was like, she was confused. And a Mountain Dew. You had a Mountain Dew? Oh, two with Mountain your Dews, coffee? Two coffees, two waters. And. Does that sound like a man who's had enough carbs <laughs> and caffeine? And like four jelly packets, ketchup, hot sauce. <laughs> And I put maple syrup on those hash browns. Uh, needless to say, we went to a diner in yep. Piatone. Shout out Piatone. <laughs> yeah, for the 10 people that live in Piatone. Good <laughs> idea for our third airport, though. That's sarcasm. Uh huh. Yep. All right, well, this hike is coming to an end. Mostly because yeah. my arm is tired. Yeah. And, uh,. So go ahead and pause one last time, do a 360, don't forget to subscribe. We got a new hike coming tomorrow, which we're doing in about an hour. Good now, good and now. Good and now. Preview, tune in tomorrow, good and now, subscribe. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the playlist. We have all the hikes around Chicago, so do explore the channel. Peace.